everyone welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to install a GE map in Windows so let's get started so first we need to install our Hanaconda software in our PC so go to the search section and enter as a Hanaconda so now you can able to visualize in the search section I have typed as a Hanaconda now click enter to search so now you can able to visualize the Hanaconda click the first uh, first result so now click this option called download for windows so now let me sa save my Hanaconda software in my download location so click save so here you can able to visualize the Hanaconda software is downloading so it is around 900 MB so now you can able to visualize our software is being downloaded here so now let me get uh, show you one thing so go to the below section so here you can able to visualize the different platform where the Hanaconda software is available for windows in python 3.11 64 bit graphical installer is available so now have my Hanaconda software has been downloaded let me get to the download section so in the download section you can visualize so now you can visualize in the download section the Hanaconda software has been downloaded so now let us install our Hanaconda software so right click and select this option as run as an administrator we can able to visualize so now a new window has been popped out for installation of Hanaconda software in our PC so to install our Hanaconda software you have to just click this option on next and you have to agree the license so now I'm gonna click I agree so now so for now we're gonna just make sure I'm gonna leave it as a default and click next so now to install our Hanaconda software you have to click this option called install so for now it's going to take some time to complete the installation so now we can able to visualize our Hanaconda software has been installed in our windows so now click next and click next and finish so we have uh, installed our Hanaconda software so here you can able to visualize our Hanaconda software is now initializing so now you can able to visualize our, this is our Hanaconda software so now let me close this so now let us proceed towards installing our GE map in our windows so now to install our GE map go to the our windows button and now you can able to visualize we have our Hanaconda software 64 bit in that we're going to select the particular option called Hanaconda prompt so now let me select this Hanaconda prompt so now we can able to visualize this is our Hanaconda prompt so now let me let us enter our prompt let us enter our command in this Hanaconda prompt so type as Hanaconda env list so now you can able to visualize I have typed as a Conda env list so now click enter So now to create a new virtual environment, we're going to type some few, few more codes. So now we're going to uh, enter our second code to create a virtual environment. So uh, let me enter as Conda create. So now you can enable to visualize. I have entered as Conda create dash n GEE Python equals to 3.11. So currently the Python version is around 3.11. We have downloaded our Hanaconda software in the Python version of 3.11 so now click enter so now you can able to visualize here it is collecting the package so now you can be able to visualize here we have typed the code called conda create dash n -E -E python equals to 3.11 after installing we have we can able to visualize the following new package will be installed in our windows so you can able to visualize these are the following packages is going to get going to get installed so now to proceed you had to click uh, you had to type as a y and enter so now it's going to enter all this above pa packages so you can visualize here the downloads so now to activate this uh, environment you have to type uh, conda activate gee 
So now let me type that. So now to activate the environment, I have typed as Conda activate GEE. Now click enter to execute the code. So once we have activated our GEE, we have to type as a Conda list. So now I'm gonna type as a Conda list. So now you can able to visualize here, I have typed as a Conda list. Now let me enter. So it's going to install the following packages. So you can visualize here, we have a Python version of uh, 3.11.4. So next we're going to type as a conda install mamba-c conda-forge. So now let me enter that. So now you can able to visualize, we have entered the code called conda install mamba-c conda-c conda-forge. So now click enter. So it is collecting our package metadata. So, so once we have typed as a conda install mamba dash c conda forge, we have our following results. So here you can able to visualize here the following package will be downloaded. So these are the following package will be installed. And the following new packages will be uh, installed. And also here it has mentioned the following following packages will be updated. So to proceed you have to work, enter as Y and click enter. So now it is downloading all the different packages required to uh, download our GE map. So the last step of this uh, code is we have to type as a mamba install ge map dash c conda dash forge. So now let me enter the code. So now enter the specific code called uh, mamba. So now we can able to visualize I have typed as a mamba install ge map dash c conda dash forge. Now click uh, enter to execute this code. So after we have typed the code, uh, code called mamba install ge map dash c conda dash forge, it has uh, shown the number of packages to install to run our ge map. So now you can able to visualize the different packages. So now the total uh, install packages is around 243 packages. So the download size is around 446 MB. So to download this, you have to uh, enter as y and enter. So now it has start downloading the packages. So you can visualize that. So the download has been started. It is a total download so file size is around 445.7 MB. So currently we have downloaded around 60 MB. So now you can able to visualize our package installation has been completed. Our download and downloading and extracting package has been uh, completed. So now let us visualize our uh, list of packages we have uh, downloaded and installed just by typing conda list so to visualize the list of packages we have installed so you can you have to type as conda list now click enter so now we have typed as a conda list these are the different packages we have installed so you can visualize that so these are the different packages we have installed currently So now we can able to visualize we have installed our GE map so we can visualize the version 0.25.0. So now to view our GE map package you have to type as a Jupyter notebook. So now let me type as a Jupyter notebook. So now I have typed as a Jupyter notebook. Now click enter. So now you can you have to select a browser to open it. So I have selecting the Brave Bar browser. So now let us visualize it. So once you typed as the Jupyter notebook, it automatically opens a browser where you directs towards the Jupyter notebook. 
So now let us create a new folder. Go to the option called new. Click this down arrow. So now you can able to visualize the option called folder. Click this. So now a new folder has been created here. Click this. And you can click this option called rename to rename the folder name. So now let me rename this folder. So now I have uh, entered a new folder called GEE. So now let me click this option to rename. So now we can able to visualize the folder here. So now click this folder GEE. So now in that I'm going to select this called new option down arrow. I'm going to select this option called Python. So we can able to visualize here in this part of the section you can click this option to rename its new uh, notebook name. So now I'm going to enter the notebook name as GE map installation. Now click rename to uh, enter the new name as the GE map installation. So now you can able to visualize here. So now let us import our GE map. So let me type. So now I have typed as an import GE map. So make sure that you click alt and enter. So you're going to you're going to press alt and enter. So now so now we're going to type as a map equals to GEE map dot uh, map function. So now you can able to visualize we have typed as a map equals to GE map dot map function. So now to execute this code you have to uh, click this option called you have to uh, control you have to select alt and enter. So if you have uh, you are so this is the first time we are going to use a uh, installation for GE map you're going to face this particular thing. So you need to uh, authorize an access uh, needed by earth engine. So now let me click a browser. So now then let me select the browser brave. So I've selected this browser. Let me click OK. So it's automatically leads to this particular page. So where you need to generate a token. Let me show you that. So here we need to authorize an access needed by earth engine open the following URL in the web browser and follow the instruction. So it's going to generate a code and we have to enter this code into this particular section. So to import our GE map. So now let me get back to that. So here I'm going to generate a token I'll generate a token. So now you have to select your uh, mail ID. So now I'm going to select this specific mail ID I'm going to click this. And now you have to click this option called continue. So now you can able to view here. So we need to uh, generate our token. For that you're going to select this option to continue. So now uh, a authorization code has been generated below the authorization code. You can able to visualize. Uh, I'm going to blur this. So uh, the authorization code will be generated in this part of the section. Or you have to copy. Now let me get back to the Jupyter Notebook. So now we have to paste the code in this part of the section. So now I'm going to paste the code. So now I have uh, placed my authorization code. So to execute this code, you have to uh, click this. Uh, you have to click Control. That is to click Alt and uh, Enter. So here you can able to visualize of successfully saved our authorization token. So now we're gonna type as a map. So now to execute this code, we can uh, select Alt and Enter. So now, so now we can able to visualize here. We have uh, able to visualize our. So now we can basically able to visualize. Uh, we can able to visualize a map. So we uh, we have imported our map. So just like a uh, Google Earth Engine, it has a very smooth interface. So we have imported the a map. So now you can able to visualize the different options being available in this uh, in this map. So you can able to zoom in and zoom out, and you can uh, you can just toggle uh, to the full screen mode. And similarly, to toggle out, you can click this option, exit the full screen mode. So to work, uh, you can draw a polyline and uh, a polygon, and also uh, draw a rectangle. So similarly, in this part of the section, you can visualize the other different set of options. So here we have our layer layer options. So you can just turn off this and turn turn on the layer. So once you have done your work, you have to click this option called uh, save. So it will save your current work. 
So once you have saved uh, by clicking this option called save and checkpoint, so you can just close this uh, entire uh, entire uh, tab. So now we can able to visualize. We have uh, done a created a new project called GE Map installation. So once uh, we have uh, closed the uh, the tab, so and after some time you could like to open this particular uh, work. We just click this option. So you can just click this option, the GE Map installation. So it's going to bring to that particular uh, tab. So by the default, you're going to visualize the code in this way. So we have to run this uh, particular code again. So go to this option called cell and you have to click this option. So you have to click this option called run all. So now it's going to execute the code and uh, it's going to open the map. So now once you have saved your uh, work, so you can close your entire tab. So now let me close this. And similarly, I'm going to cl close this entire tab. And even the command prompt. So that is our Hanaconda, uh, Hanaconda prompt. So we're going to close this Hanaconda prompt. So now we have closed our uh, our Jupyter node. So once uh, so so once you would like to open the Jupyter files back again. So we have to navigate to our Windows section. In that, you're going to find our Hanaconda folder. So specifically, in the code, we're going to select the Hanaconda prompt. So we are specifically using those in order to over open our Jupyter file, that is our GE map installation folder. So we're going to navigate that. So now we're going to type as a conda env list. So now you can able to visualize I have typed as an conda env list. So now click enter. So now you can able to visualize it is currently saved in our user super user Hanaconda env ge folder. So now we're gonna type as the conda activate gee. So now you can visualize I typed as an conda activate gee. So now click enter. So now again I'm gonna type as a Jupyter notebook. So now I have typed as a Jupyter notebook. So now click enter. So now it has opened our Jupyter notebook. So in that we're gonna select the specific folder called GEE. So you can able to visualize here. So now to open your GE map installation, uh, you have to just click this. So it's gonna open our uh, project file location that is GE map installation. So this is, this is our GE map installation. So now we can, uh, to run this code, you have to go, go to this option called cell and click this option called run all. So it's going to execute all the codes. So now you can able to visualize it has executed the code. So uh, in this video I have shown you how to uh, how to download and install GE map in Windows. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.